explain um, the rationale, also the process that the ministry went through in deciding to raise the income ceiling for the various groups? I think I explained once in one of my blogs that uh, when I look at the profile of the applicants for BTO, so of course mostly are young couples, but the age of their, their age when they apply is now quite different from uh, several years ago. People are marrying late and with that salary adjustment and I express a view that obviously the, the salary ceilings need to be adjusted to take that into account. So back to this 25,000 this year, 25,000 next year, people may not appreciate the, the scale of this operation. How much is 25,000? If I may give an example, Amokyo Town is not even 50,000 units. It's, it's almost there, 48,000 units. So in two years, we'll be building an entire Amokyo Town. So Minister, you're confident that the 25,000 that you're promising next year will be enough to meet the expected surge in demand from those coming over due to the increase in income ceiling? I, I should think so, but it does not matter. Let's say it, if, if the demand is bigger than that, then we just, because uh, then subsequent years, I, I can adjust the construction rates. Really, my, my priority is uh, young couples, and, and I'm motivated by this social objective that we want more Singaporeans to have babies.